guys, it's Annabelle. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already and joined our family, please go ahead and subscribe right now. And um, if you have already been subscribed, thank you, you are the best, the bomb.com. Okay, let's get into the video. Today, I am doing the Christian Girl Tag, which is nine questions about being a Christian girl. So let's get started. Question number one is, how long have you been saved and when did you become saved? I have been saved since I was six years old, so about 11 years. Um, I got saved in June of 2006. So yeah. Question number two, what's your favorite Bible verse and what does it mean to you? My favorite Bible verse is Hebrews 6.19, which says, We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. So here, so here is my little Bible journaling entry for my favorite verse. This verse means to me that we will always have hope no matter what. This verse means a lot to me because... It explains that we can have a hope in the Lord Jesus and that that hope will anchor our soul because He is hope, He is love, He is grace, and we never have to worry about any of that. So when we're having difficult times or hard days or struggles, because the struggle is real because we're on earth and nothing's perfect, then we can have a hope and that hope will anchor our soul and we don't have to worry about it. So that's what I really love. That's why it's my favorite verse. Question number three is, what is your favorite Christian song and why? Well, I kind of like have a ton of different favorite Christian songs and they always are like changing because new people come out with new songs and it's just amazing. But currently my favorite song is I Will Keep On by NF. It's just a good song, good um, encouraging song just to tell you to keep on going even when stuff's hard. It's okay, you can keep on. Question number four, what is your favorite Christian book? My favorite Christian book is Looking for Lovely by Annie F. Down. Oh my gosh, I could do a whole video just on this book because it is thebomb.com. If you have not read it or you have not read anything by Annie F. Down, you have to go like right now. Well, after this video is over, but you get the point. Like go get her book and read it because she is hilarious. She's encouraging. She is real and down to earth, just like all around amazing. So go get her book, girl. Go get it. Question number five. What is your favorite thing about church? My favorite thing is the knowledge and wisdom that the pastor brings into the word to really help it come alive. The analogies that the pastor um, teaches us, all the little insights of the Hebrew different languages, the Hebrew and the Greek languages, all of that like nerdy stuff or behind the scenes or in-depth study, that stuff I just love. I know I'm a nerd. That's okay. I love it anyways. <laughs> Question number six. If you can meet Jesus right now, what would your first action question slash action be? Oh my gosh. Well, I probably like would not be able to speak because I'm so in awe of what, all that he's done. So I'd probably just like hug him really hard and then be like thanking him nonstop for everything. And then my first question, question, I can't talk apparently. My first question would probably be, oh gosh, maybe what is the happiest moment of his life here on earth? That I would like to know. That'd be something interesting to know. Question number seven, oddest place that you have ever prayed? Oddest? I pray everywhere. In my car, in my room, when I'm out standing in line at Walmart because I just pray all the time. It's good to pray all the time. The Bible says pray without ceasing, so I just try to pray all the time. So I don't know what the oddest place is. That's a difficult question. Question number nine is, how do you openly share your faith? I openly share my faith on YouTube, on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me, go follow me. It's at Annabelle Keeper. Pretty much just the love of Jesus just flows out of me. So if there, somebody asks me for advice, I usually use scripture or an example from God. Um, if somebody asks me a question, I answer with a biblical truth or something that has to do with faith. Just pretty much anything I can possibly do to say Jesus' name to somebody is how I am open about my faith. Alrighty, that is it for all the questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment an idea for my next video. What would you like to see? Would you like more questions to be answered? Would you like something, a Bible study maybe? I don't know. I'm open to anything you have to tell me. So go ahead and comment something you'd like to see down below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Bye.